Here we have a, uh, a piece of glass or a mirror that has two copper strips um, that has been adhered to this piece of glass. At the end of the copper strips we have a voltage supply of 9 volts 100 milliamps. What I'd like to show you is that if you take this rod or what this is, is a, just a piece of tubing steel tubing and place it between the copper strips it does not tend to move it just rolls off sorry about that I just replaced that and now I'm grabbing the same type of tubing but with bearings on either side I don't know if you can see that sparking there, but it is making contact. It doesn't do much. But when you take something like the same type of shaft, the steel shaft, and what I've done is I've placed neodymium magnets on the end. Now, the neodymium magnets are facing north, facing outside, or south facing outside, regardless. But when I place this on here, ah, my apologies, there was a little mishap there. It uh, rolled all the way and stuck the, uh, the magnets actually stuck to the alligator clips. What I've also done is I've flipped the uh, polarity in the positive on this rail and the negative on this rail, hoping that it will roll away from me and not towards the alligator clips. And it does. Sorry about all the cutting in and cutting out there. I wasn't prepared. Anyways, I didn't anticipate that it would roll that fast and then slide into and uh, stick to the other, other shafts. Anyways, I'll do that again. As you can see, it causes locomotion. The electricity is going through one side, coming out the other. And causes, the electricity is actually going through this way. Or the other way. But it's causing motion at an angle, or 90 degree angle for it, because that's the way the rails are set. But it's interesting that it would even do that. If you can see this little black line on the end here, but I purposely did that so that I know which would be the left side and which is the right. So let's flip it over and see if it actually rolls away from me or toward me. It still rolls away, but I pushed it that way. Let's have a look if I don't push it. rolls away. So flipping these two, the negative and the positive, causes the direction away from you and towards you, depending on which way these are hooked up. Now, I don't know what principle is involved that causes this effect. If anyone out there knows a little bit more about this than I do, and gives me some terminology that I would be able to uh, look up on the internet to explain this because I would like to be able to further uh, look into this. Anyway, thank you very much.